going to challenge Mr. Tyler going forward from here on out, man. Harris tied this so good for me, though. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the world is watching, man. This is going on Instagram, Twitter, social media, everything. You know, it's been a couple times at tournaments, the raffle guy, fine, just let me do it. I'm like, thank you. Tyler's been putting in a lot, a lot of work. Um, he asks a lot of questions, and I love that because not only is he is he really trying to go like deep down into the technique and understand how it works or why I'm I'm saying to do certain things, but it makes me a better coach whenever you guys do that because I have to get in there and explain so that you guys really understand why we're doing what we're doing. It should never be like, well, just do this because I say so. It should be like, well, I'm doing it because of X, Y, and Z. I understand why Mr. Jason is laying down, there you go, thanks sir. Um, why this move works, because I understand everything about this technique because it's been explained to me. So I understand it in its entirety versus, yeah, just do this and then don't ask no questions. You really don't know what, why you're doing what you're doing. And when you understand the mechanics of the move like that, it just makes you so much better. And then also it makes me better as a coach, like I said, because I have to explain it in a way to so that you can understand it. And I gotta figure out a way to make sure that you understand that technique. Not only that, but he's competed and he's won and he's lost and he's won and he's lost. But these, this last tournament he had, he really showed his dominance. It was double digits, points to zero, and then submissions after that. Like things are coming together because of all the hard work he's put in. Now, I've been a lot harder on him than some of the rest of you because his goals are a little bit higher. And also, I kind of see some of the things that he likes, so I put him in uncomfortable positions. I'll come in and be like, ah, you're playing on top too much. You gotta go to the bottom. You're doing this too much. You gotta go the other direction. And I can see the frustration on his face and I know he's upset. One day he threw his mouthpiece and whatever else. And he'll message me after class like, hey, coach, look, I, I, I wasn't trying to be disrespectful. I just, you know, I'm trying to get this stuff and, and I'm not getting it the way I want to get it. Okay. And that's the way it's going to be. It ain't going to be really how you want it, when you want it to get it. It's just, it's going to happen for you as long as you keep showing up. So uh, he's lost a lot of weight and a bunch of other things. So let's just get into it. Like how long, uh, what, what got you into it to begin with? What, why'd you want to start? I was married 11 years. My wife had her third affair and we were separated and I needed, and we're still living together. And I just, I was 262 pounds and I needed 90 minutes a day to get away from something. And so I looked, I Googled you. They had a 30 day free trial. It was right up the road. So when I came and for the first three months, it was the 90 minutes of not having to think about any other thing. Uh, but I fell in love with it and signed up right away. Um, started hearing about people competing and I'm like, yeah, that'll never be me. And then December, we started talking about the tournament in January, AGF on the 24th of January. So I was like, final sign up. So I did that and I lost and I literally drove home and was like, well, I don't have enough neck tattoos and I'm not like <laughs> tough enough to do this. <laughs> but I gotta go give you some tats. <laughs> so, but I'm, I'm super competitive. <laughs> So I'm super competitive, so I'm laying in bed that night, and I'm like, there's got to be a way to beat this game. Like, there's got to be a way. And so I just decided that I was going to drop the weight, and I knew holes in my game that I had to fix, and I changed the diet. I started coming five days a week. I added running. I added swimming. And then I came out on May 9th, and I took double gold. And the, he, when, he, when you talk about the feeling of winning gold can't be matched, you're exactly right. 
And so that's why I keep competing. I get a lot of anxiety before tournaments because I put a ton of pressure on myself. Like, what if I lose out and I got to go back to the gym on Monday and tell all my teammates I lost? Like, that's a lot of pressure. But once I'm out there and competing, I love it. Now I'll message you afterwards and tell you how frustrated I am that I can't get past the damn guard and lose two to nothing. But, um, and then the one other thing I want to say is, like, this is a family to me. And there are so many people in here that have helped me tie my belt you know, take me aside after class and the head and arm choke, which I love. I mean, I've had two people pull me aside and teach me things that in the last two tournaments I've used, you know, pressing the head against theirs. Um, and it, it's, it's invaluable. I love all y'all and uh, I love this place. Yeah, yeah. Good stuff. Clap it up, guys. <laughs> he, he also just moved. How, how, how much further? Yeah, I was 20 minutes away and now I'm about an hour away. And he just says he's going to keep on coming. He shows up 6 a.m., 10.30, 7 o'clock. Like, he finds a way. He gets here. He makes it happen. Um, he made it happen. How much weight have you lost altogether? 67 pounds. 68. 68 pounds. Thank God for that. <laughs> like, guys, for me, especially being a health and fitness guy myself, like, especially with all the stuff that's going on, like, take care of yourself. So when I see individuals, like, like doing better with their health like that just makes me feel really really good like this place has helped someone change their eating habits for the better to put years back on their life nothing's obviously a guarantee but it does help versus the other way you know walking around you know unhealthy versus being healthier your mind's healthier everything about you is better through the process of of, of jujitsu so um the there's got to be days where you don't feel like it. You would think, but it's rarely. Mm. And it's funny because, you know, I might go through the warm up and be like, uh, and, and then the drilling, uh, but once we get to the rolls, it's like, this is where I'm supposed to be. Even if it's older every day, sit down, your chest. Oh, it sit, sit down your chest. Like he won't let <laughs> he, sit down my chest. Yeah. He like, won't let me get away, but you know, he did. Everybody in here who smashes me very, very hard, I know that they're trying to teach me stuff and they don't, they won't give me a way out. And man, I walk out of here and I, it's an endorphin high for me. And that's why I come five days a week because I, I need it yeah, yeah. mentally. Tough love, man, tough love, it's good stuff. All right, man, one more time, man.